Packers uh, group of offensive linemen. Talk to returners and mention a few new faces. Uh, got a couple of returners. Uh, Ethan Blank, he, he'll be holding down one of the guard spots. Uh, young man from Roanoke, Virginia. Uh, he's going to be our captain in our room. Uh, other than that, we've got some guys that played last year as two freshmen, Zach Plunk from Knoxville. Uh, expecting big things from him. He had, a, had, a, had an excellent spring. Hoping to hit, hopefully he can continue that. Uh, brought in some a lot of young freshmen uh, that fit the, the body style we want and looking to get them as many much reps as we can and see if they can help us. Um, also, biggest thing was we, we, we added depth to our room. So now it's just trying to figure out who goes where and who can play and who needs a little more time to develop. So what are some of the things you do with the linemen now the camp started and the weeks leading up the first game? I guess there's a lot of technique and teaching. Yeah, the offensive line is, is usually the position that you know guys need a little bit more time to develop. Uh, there's a lot of technique. Uh, you've got run game, pass game, different, different schemes, blocking, gap schemes, zone blocking. Um, so it takes some time. Uh, we try to make it, I try to make it as, as, as simple, as easy as it possibly can, because uh, I, I don't want them thinking. Uh, give them a base rule, 80% of the time if they follow that, they'll be all right. The other 20% is on me to correct. Um, but it's, it's a continual. Every day we do about the same drills until you get good at it. With high school kids, you gotta kinda deprogram them from four years of high school and then build them up. They're learning a new language. New, 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 new calls. Uh, so it takes a little bit of time. Okay, you mentioned a couple of times here about in your room. I know what it means to folks who don't know what is meant by in your room. Speak of it. Well, in my room is uh, the offensive line. That's all I deal with. That's all that, you know. I've always wanted to be an old line coach, and uh, you know they're they're like cattle. They they they, <laughs> they herd together. Uh, they are always out about 20 minutes before the start of practice. It's a great group uh, of young men we've got in, in, in our room and expecting a lot of leadership from the older guys to bring these freshmen along. They know how I am. I'm, I'm attention to detail, nitpicky, old school, whatever they say nowadays, but uh, look, looking forward to it. A lot of excitement. And you, you look for five guys that can play in that same position hole. You like to keep your same five out the whole year if you can. I want to, I want to play my best five. And um, if that means not playing a guy at, for instance, a tackle that doesn't check the height and weight, he's my best. I'm looking for football players. And they all have been told that uh, nobody has a, a spot given to them. It's open season auditions and from freshman to fifth year senior, I'm looking for the best 10 guys to put on the bus on our away game. That's uh, Mike Comp, assistant head coach, offensive line coach. UBA Wise will play its homecoming game on Saturday, October 7th against the Wasp Emory Henry with the kickoff set for 2 o'clock. Go Cavs!